Hello YouTube. This is my EDC pickup truck video. So basically my pickup truck is an Isuzu D-Max with an automatic transmission, electronic four-wheel drive selection. It's a three-tone vehicle. And my EDC starts up here. I have my Navman set nav. I also have my Team ME4 CB radio, which is wired through the dash for electrics, the antenna, and a speaker which is mounted underneath here. On down from that, I have my Bluetooth radio, which connects wirelessly with my phone, it has its own separate antenna mounted on the windscreen and it gets a really strong signal from this antenna, it's very very good and I highly recommend these Bluetooth radios uh, not only are they good for phone calls but you can also, if you have a good phone play your music through it, so gone are CDs and discs and all that just play it all straight from your phone on down I have my USB charger which charges my phone and any other USB devices iPods or even LED lights, rechargeable ones, all those sort of things. On over into the glove box, I have a pair of 10 by 25 binoculars. The case, some 12 volt chargers. I have my spot lamp, which is made by Draper. It's a 12 volt connection, which runs off the dash. Uh, very good beam of this. I mostly use it for lamping foxes, but uh, it's an excellent light. Moving across, we have some more 12 volt chargers. This is my riding gear. It's a right in the rain pad and pen, which was sent to me by Broker One. Cheers, buddy. Uh, into the center console, stainless steel LED. Nice torch, good strong pair of leather work gloves. I have my SWR meter for my CB radio, which keeps it tuned in nice. So I get a good signal. Coming on over to the this door, I have my Radio Shack TRC225. It's a 40 watt or a 40 channel 5 watt handheld CB radio. It has high and low transmitting power, rubber duck antenna, and it connects with my CB here. On the EU band I have to add, not on the UK band, but uh, the Team ME4 can function on both UK and EU bands, so that's not a problem. So we have that. I also always have a good strong steel cable which I use to lock the steering wheel if I'm ever out shooting or I have the vehicle parked in remote locations. And to lock it I use a good quality Abus stainless steel discless lock. I'm not going to cut through that in a hurry. So that's the front and moving on into the back. Starting over here in this pocket, another pair of work gloves. I have a good set of heavy duty rain gear, which everybody should carry. Uh, we have our jacks and equipment for changing wheels under the seat here. And we have my get home bag. And I'll give you a quick run through on this. I have my open L knife. this pocket. I have a Draper multi-tool. I have another LED. I have a set of FRS radios which have a 3K range. I always keep the battery separate from these 
because they can sit in there for a long time when you're not using these and they're just sitting in the bag ready to go you take them out and you find the batteries are after leaking this isn't good keep them separate there's a less less of a chance for them leaking and damaging the units so I always like to keep them separate in the bag that's that pocket coming on over there this is my fire pocket I also have a felt tip pen in there fire steel it's a heavy duty fire steel small little bit of lint disposable lighter and that's it for there on into the main compartment I have a first aid kit which I put together myself it's uh, it's only got what I want in a first aid kit in it, not a lot of crap that somebody else thinks I might need so I put this together myself and it's quite a good one, it's very comprehensive I have about 30 foot of 550 paracord and I have some eating utensils Now I do have a few more bits which I do want to add to that so bear with me if it seems a little basic at the moment. Uh, I also carry my Ireland survey maps of Ireland which not only cover the roads but also have very good uh, topographic details on that for, for cross country work which is very useful and it's one of the reasons that I'm not too um, keen on using the satnav. I prepare to rely on maps and my own general knowledge. So that's the interior. I think. Oh no, I have one more thing. Two more things in here. I have my. If I can get it. Fire extinguisher. It's a dry chemical fire extinguisher, which is good for electrical fires and uh, chemical fires. That's there. On down then is my socket set, which I always keep inside the vehicle because this is one of the more expensive pieces of kit that I don't want anybody else to get their hands on. It's a comprehensive socket set, very heavy duty, and uh, I always keep that inside the vehicle. So moving on into the back. I don't keep a big huge toolbox in here because there's a good chance of somebody getting their hands on it when you have it parked up. So I keep basic tools, screwdrivers, vice grips, some lubricant, a good heavy hammer, a little 12 volt compressor, this is very handy, a set of jumper cables, crowbar, some ratchet straps, very sharp knife, craft knife, uh, a metal chisel. Uh, files, bits and pieces, measuring tapes. Uh, one of these guys, a universal socket, which is handy. One of the more interesting things I carry in the back is a tree surgeon's silky saw. This thing is lethal. I've had this for about four years and it's almost as sharp as the day I got it. Uh, more guys get hurt with these than they do with chainsaws. This is an excellent, excellent tool. I carry a heavy duty ratchet. Another heavy duty torch, some cable ties, barrier tape, my entrenching tool or fold up shovel, very handy, and a dummy for my dog. I also have one more tie down ratchet strap there which I just use by hand. So that's basically my everyday EDC for my pickup truck. Decky it out.